What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's finally, finally, finally Friday. Snap on Friday. Hamilton's here. Right there he is. We got some beautiful sunshine today. It's Friday. It's almost beer 30. It's finally Friday. Let's go. I think I'm not the only person that looks forward to seeing you on Fridays. You what? I'm not the only person that looks forward to seeing <laughs> you on Fridays. I don't think there's a lot of folks that's like, man, Hamilton's on, it's finally quitting time. It's time to go home. <laughs> Have some cold beer. Yeah. We, that's the game plan, at least. Well, how did the week treat you? Yeah, well, the week's been flown by this week. Of course, I mean, it's Mississippi, so I've been wearing shorts every day this week. And then, of course, yesterday we go home early because tornadoes and stuff. And then today we got snow flurries this morning. It's been freezing all day. Yep. But it sure was pretty outside, though. It's nice now, though. At least, it ain't, at least it ain't raining. That's what I said. That's one good thing about it. If you don't like it, wait about 10 minutes. It'll change. That's a fact. It may go the other way. Yeah, but it'll be different, though. <laughs> it'll change. But yeah, that's what... Uh, I thought it was gonna be cold yesterday, and I got to looking at the weather because, I, like I said, I've been wearing shorts all week. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, well, it ain't gonna get cold till the uh, late, late tonight. So I wore shorts yesterday, of course, then 60 mile an hour winds. I had to go home early because, I mean, everybody in here, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just hard to sell toes that way. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, now, of course, then, like I said, this morning, there's snow on the ground outside. It's cold. I know, uh, I've never been around a lot of hard wind like that before unless it was a tornado you know yeah. just normal wind i've never been yeah. in it so i was out in uh, topeka kansas i had my own truck and my own trailer and all that you know i was driving it and i was sitting in topeka kansas and i pulled into this place and was going to sleep you know where i could unload and then come back home man i was laying there in the bed and all of a sudden boo like it just boo hard you know yeah like, damn Somebody hit my truck, you know, so you jerking the curtain open and you're looking out, ain't a soul around. Like not a truck around. <laughs> and it's the wind, just normal wind, you know. I was like, hey, go. So the next morning I got up and I walked across the street. There's a little bitty gas station there. I went in and got me a cup of coffee and I was asking that girl, I said, Is it always this windy here? She's like, Oh yeah, this is normal. I was like, How's this built different out here? Yeah. <laughs> they all lean this way a little bit trying to <laughs> compensate for the wind blowing. Yeah. So. yeah, we, uh, of course, I mean, here we just don't get much wind at all. And, and sometimes when it's hot, it's stale. It yeah. don't get no wind at all, it don't seem like. Was, yeah. But yeah, yesterday, was, well, with this, of course, with any trucks, these, these things, they're built pretty soft. Mm -hmm. They're not very sturdy vehicles. So you go down the road, and that's what my wife's running here a few times. And you know how it is driving a big truck, though. Yeah. You go around a bunch of woods, and you come up on a big field, and you're like, I yep. mean, you gotta be prepared, you know? <laughs> but yesterday it was like that, it was at 20 mile an hour coming through town, I mean. But. It's different for sure, you know. If you, you gotta be careful too, you let this thing lay on its side and take a nap. Yeah, I don't wanna do, not with me in here at least. <laughs> <laughs> you do see a lot of big trucks like that, yeah. but especially on overpasses and all that. Sure enough. Better than me, I guess. We got a thermal imager? Yeah. That's the new one too, that's the big screen version. That's, yeah, I got the big screen with the two cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been out a while, actually. I've, I've had it in the shop, and then forgot about it. Ah, dang it. But yeah, it has two cameras on the back. I have an ETH310. And the difference in these and the other one, the other one only had one camera. And it could go, you could see the regular picture and the thermal picture at the same time. Uh, not at the same time, you could see them both, but you'd have to adjust it from one to the other. Right. Or they'd overlap. That this one, one actually has a split screen. You can see yeah. both of them at the same time if you want to. Cool. Or they overlap also. I would turn it on, but I messed with it this morning. It's dead. I then took it up on the charger, actually. Yep. Those things are cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thermals is pretty nice. I wonder how oh. far them things will reach. 
I tried it outside a few times, and I really just looking at the dogs. I, I think I was seeing like 30, 40 yards out in the front yard. Mm -hmm. That's and, pretty uh, cool. Yeah, for a handheld like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'd love to have one on thermal scopes or something like that. That'd be pretty cool, too. Now, you know you mess around and do something illegal with that. <laughs> There's probably some Mr. Green Jeans, Mean Green <laughs> Jeans watching this channel. He's uh, just sending text messages that don't do that. <laughs> That's like that spotlight I bought from Matt Sledge up there, that Milwaukee. Yeah. I was like, man, this thing would come in real handy at night if you need to look for your cows. <laughs> I had to catch the sale, you know. That's what uh, I was looking at. I got a night vision scope, which is cool and all that. I mean, it's neat. Night vision is, is, is pretty awesome. But, of course, I mean, you only can use it at nighttime. Where the thermals, you can use them day or night or anything. Well, a buddy of mine, like, was like, because we're getting into hog hunting and stuff. Well, we got a bunch of hogs. I've been shooting hogs for a long time. But would they get off in these big gullies? It's hard for to see those them. of y'all that don't know what a hog is, that's a feral pig. Yeah. He's not going to a farmer's <laughs> yard, like a farmer's feedlot, no. and popping one out of a pen. Yeah. Like it's wild feral, boars. Yeah. Feral know? pig, like you see on TV. Where they in Mississippi, them on we call them hogs. It's spelled <laughs> H-A-W-G-S, hogs. That's it. It's like the ones you grow for food is called a hog. <laughs> H-O-G. <laughs> yeah. so there's a difference. So Y'all had a little redneckism right there. Yeah, but we was a... Uh, I was looking at uh, drones the other day, like the thermal yeah. drones, and high dang, talking about prices on them. Are they made by Snap-on? Huh? Yeah, I think <laughs> they're made in the same facility for sure. <laughs> I was like, I mean, you can get a good thermal scope for two yeah. to 3000 Yeah, that's pocket change there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Clay's on borrowed to me. He told me that he'd loan me the money. But you. the dang drones was twice that much for good ones. So you might dig up one of them snap-on jars out there. Yeah, I got to find them first. <laughs> they probably got a snap-on metal detector you can get. Yeah, go extra deep. Yeah. <laughs> well, we get the impacts in. Oh, uh, well, they're red and green. They'll actually be here today. Okay. Yep. Well. I went from getting four colors to getting two, red and green. I said, well, that's better than getting none. So That's true. Well, I guess I got a quarter-inch green, and I got a red that got sent off and got repaired that come back green showed it <laughs> <laughs> so it don't matter just whichever one uh, yeah whichever one i'll take it that's what i told myself i was getting one uh one of each of four different colors to getting two red and two green i said well i'll I take see it if i so. can twist the guts out of one i want to see if it'll how stout they are yeah i want to do a torque test on it i watch some videos with people that uh out in texas and california stuff that's just using them just on mm -hmm. facebook and they all seem pretty neat Yep. Can't beat that. So you didn't have nothing new come in? No, not <clears> this week. What about my blue point stuff? Did it come in? It may be in that with all that, the wrench and the socket. Better would learn to keep up with crap, shouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. Ain't got nothing on sale this week, do you? It's all on sale. All on sale. Everybody knows that. What's the best bargain you got on the truck today on a tool? Best bargain on the truck? The first thing you grab, that's gonna be the best bargain. Now we do got a lot of pick sets and stuff. Our pick sets, I think run around about 60, 65 bucks. I think they're going for $40. So it's almost 30% off. Heck yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. Good deal on me. Got red, green, and orange this time. Mm-hmm. Them right there. No, that, yeah, that is the hose pick set. The long, yeah. Them things is the big ones. Them are good. This right here, which I don't have the extra long version of them, but the regular version of these is probably the most valuable thing you can have in your toolbox right there. Y'all don't know what that is. Let's see, you can break the suction on the hose. It'll be a heater hose, charge air hose, Radiator. Here's like a regular one, and then that's the flat tip. See how that point is? You gotta be careful because you'll poke it through there. If they're cold or if they're dry rotted. won't do it. And this one works great because like you can reach in there like this and get on the top of the hose and break that suction loose, she'll pop right off. Yep. 
I mean, and, uh, the other one's straight. So you can push. So that one's made to pull. Uh, you get a lot of folks who are like, I ain't never seen no reason for the long ones. I was like, well, if I was only buying one set, I would probably would buy the long ones because mm -hmm. you can use them on the top hoses or the bottom hoses. If you get the short ones, then you're pretty much limited to the top unless you got everything cleared out the way or can get up under it one or the other. Yeah. Them right there, is, they did a good job when they come out with that tip design on yeah, them. Yeah, that flat tip is nice. Remember Matthew Cox wanted a green handle pair. We had when to they make come them. out, all they had was yep. red, and Hamilton took screwdriver handles and pulled them off. And yeah, he had the first green set of them. Mm -hmm. Now they sell them green. So. Yeah, you can get them in all the colors now. If you got a good tool dealer, he'll make you a custom tool no matter what. Yep. Oh. Try to do what we can do. We made the gear shifter for a fella the other day, but we used the, uh, a file handle because the file handle's got a bigger hole and they're threaded already. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I and, took uh, uh, that little bitty quarter inch ratchet yeah, and change and it. And then, not, not that little, but like, <laughs> it's a little head. A little bit, that little was, bit bigger than that. That was kind of shocking right there. I'm sure there's been a lot of women realize that same thing. When I pulled it out, it was way little than I thought it was. You, well, you got to bring up next girlfriends in every video, I see. <laughs> oh, man. So I took a quarter inch ratchet and I took a uh, handle off of a pick, actually. Yep. And uh, drilled it. And drilled it out. And, shoved it up on there and made a kind of cool custom little scrap iron ratchet handle yeah pretty neat and so. now I, i've seen a lot of pictures where the other people other dealers has made them mm -hmm. for and you made that one i didn't i, I didn't actually do that. You used did. that pick said it would come free with a screwdriver set or something yeah. one of the promos you had and uh, i actually bent that thing like i was using it for something you was the pick to, and i bent it real bad so i took the handle off and then I had a lamp in there, that that weld art lamp that I made up in yeah. my studio. I said, man, that thing would look cool with a snap-on handle on it. And of course, I wanted to just pull the handle off. I like to never, because I don't have no special jig, I like to never got the deck of the handle off. <laughs> and it was this one, the same one that's got that little bitty curve with the tiny little That little 45 on there? It's just like the very tips. I, don't, I can't even focus that short. But it's got like a little crook off on the like 245s yeah man that's probably the that damn thing eat my hands like you'd been better off to pull the bobcat's ears to <laughs> try to get that off like i did but i finally got that damn thing off there and you... i glued it on the i took a pair of side cutters and cut the fat end off of the lamp handle yeah and glued it on there that's probably out of all the picks that little dual 45 what i call it is mm. probably the number one Oh, if you stab or, somebody with that, like if you go to prison oh, yeah. and you need a shank, don't get this flat one right here. Nah. Like it looks like it would do more damage. You get that one right there. You can it's stab him with that and you're going to pull his spine out. It's going to go just as deep, but it's bringing a whole lot more stuff back out with it. I guarantee you, buddy. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. That right there, serious. That makes me hurt thinking about that. <laughs> As I was say, you know those great big picks that y'all have? It's... The heavy duty ones that looks like a yeah a screwdriver, uh, but they're like massive. Yeah, I said that's some, well, snap on needs to market them for prison. Here's one for like cotter keys and stuff, but it's the same thickness handle and the yeah. same thickness shaft. But it's and, got a sh really sharp point on it, <laughs> like, <laughs> like an ice pick. I said that would be the perfect thing for snap on to sell in let's, prison right there. Let's see if I, I bet I ain't got none of them. Protector left, series. It looks like it right there. Like, yeah, I mean it's. It's freaking massive. You can feel how sharp that point right there is. Like you could use that to stab a 18 wheeler tire if you wanted to. It's serious. Some people up back into the trailer, and I guess waiting in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, if you really want to screw somebody, buy you a set of these little Nipex bolt cutters, like on trucks that do stupid stuff like that, and big yeah. trucks. Like just snap that, cut that valve stem off. <laughs> Then he has to break his whole tire down to change it, you know, because they, they got on, on the inside. <laughs> How you like that? You can always learn some good vandalism tips. Off. Especially from a redneck. Because if you ain't done it to somebody, you've had it done to you. Wanted, yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you. Oh, show. Man, we're teaching y'all all kind of bad stuff and. It's, it's a, it's, we're gonna have to cut it off. I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> YouTube gonna be a red flag in the. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Well, I guess we're gonna get off here and get something done today. Y'all drink a cold one with us. It's gonna be a great day. Like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. And also, everybody's wanting to know when Hamilton is going to go to Harbor Freight on video. I was like, I don't know. Like, we'll get some <laughs> donations, get enough beer in, and we'll do it. Yeah. So. We ain't scared of it, so we'll do it. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great week. See ya.